I'm Dan Jones. I live on Cedar Street in Lexington. I've been farming here only a couple of years. Uh, I wrote a nasty letter back in the spring uh, to the Minuteman about the town and the way it maintains the community gardens. Uh, I had moved here from Brookline, where I'd had a community garden for 10 years, and one of the things that was interesting to me when I got here was that they really provided no services. In Brookline, there was a you know, water hookup. Um, there seemed to be regular mowing around the plots, uh, you know, some regular activity. And out here, I suppose if we had some pictures that uh, you can take, you'll see that it's kind of, well, vacant. It's not really a community garden, it is a nod to the idea of a community garden. I'm Emily Shadler, I work for the Conservation Division. I'm the Conservation Assistant and mostly I do land management for the town of Lexington. And this year the town um, has been working with some of the gardeners to come up with some ideas for things that we could improve in the community gardens in Lexington, in both of the, the two gardens that we have right now. And looking at the main issues that we've been looking at are supplying water to the gardens because they currently don't have water, um, supplying uh, better fencing for the gardens, and also thinking about um, putting in a system of being able to till the gardens as a, um, as a whole thing rather than the tilling the individual plots. I'm Don Kozak, the garden coordinator for the Idlewild Community Garden area. We are in an open field about uh, 30 yards up from the Idlewild Gardens, which could possibly be a new area for us to develop with the town. Uh, we've been somewhat uh, stranded with, uh, with overgrowth and a tremendous amount of wild life in the area. And we've been working with the town uh, to possibly develop uh, a goal and a budget to bring in a new community garden area. My name is Alexandra Barch. I live on Fallen Road in Lexington, and I manage the Dunback Meadow Community Garden here in Lexington. We have about 40 plots in this garden and about 25 gardeners. Some gardeners have more than one plot. This is my plot behind us. And most of us who garden here garden because we love gardening and we need more space than we have in our own yards. For example, at my house, I have a lot of big trees and it's too shady to garden. So I come here and this year I've grown tomatoes and squash and potatoes and strawberries and asparagus. In Lexington, the community gardens are fairly rudimentary. The town gives us the land and they've split it up into plots and we all pay $10 per plot per year, which is a relatively low fee as community gardens go. It, you know, you've got to understand at this time if they've got to lay off school teachers, if they've got to lay off uh, a lot of other town personnel, I would guess a town community garden would then probably drop to the bottom of the heap as far as what uh, people really think that is a priority. So. It is a very interesting area. We don't have a lot, even though we have a huge tree here, uh, in the main field, uh, which was the Idlewild Garden and Farm probably 50 years ago or more, we um, would be developing that area. Gardening, um, especially in the spring, is a lot of hard work. Like a lot of things, it's all preparation. If you can prepare your soil real well and your seedlings, and your fertilizer and get everything into the ground and ready, you'll have a much higher success rate. 